I've seen ceramists make pure art. I've seen them create and portray a piece of their heart with such passion and peace. Like giving life and shape, purpose and a function to something out of nothing. I've also seen people try to make jars of clay in a forced manner that they end up with a deformed and easily breakable vase. Maybe, maybe they're not good for that, to be ceramists. Maybe they're good talking to people and giving them shape like a ceramist, but with people, you know? Maybe those people won't come out deformed and easily breakable. And I've also seen people try to be ceramists of humans, even when they're not made for that. I've seen them build tons and tons of the fake shoes, vases of people. I've seen leaders with fake crowns forming vases of babies, giving them a purpose, giving them a function throughout their life. But how can a good thing come out of something that is broken? How can a broken leader with a broken heart, with broken ideas and crooked motives create good non-defective vases? Imagine those broken vases created by the leader, creating even more broken vases throughout the years, through generations. It's like a domino effect. You cannot stop it. It's just where at the end there is no true vase created by a, by a good ceramist. You cannot change the fact that you're a vase, but you can choose who builds you. What kind of artist gives you shape? Only you can decide to open your eyes, to wake up, and choose the ceramist. Not to lay fake leaders to build you out of your crooked motives and false vain promises. For a broken vase has no use. For a broken vase has lost its purpose. For a lack of purpose is absence of life. And if one does not live, then you merely exist to fill someone else's void. But when you wake up and let the ceramist reshape you, you start living in purpose. You start living for something greater than yourself, for the unknown and intrinsic, for the inherent good.